Hi, this is Erling with Travel Trail Sail. Today we're going to cover a, well, not so fun topic. How to hook up your sewer hoses. It's something that all of us campers have to do, whether you're in a full hookup site and you can leave them connected, or whether you're staying somewhere like a state park where you may not have sewer hookups and you need to dump on the way out. What you're going to be looking for is a black tank hookup. This is where your black and your gray tanks dump. And we need to connect a hose to it. Now, there's a lot of different hoses that are out there. You just need to find what's right for you. Typically, when you buy an RV, they give you a starter pack with a very flimsy hose. I wouldn't recommend sticking with this, not only because it's not very strong, but because it generally won't reach the places that you need to go. So when you're dumping, you need a little bit longer of a hose. Uh, today, I'm gonna to show you how to hook up if you have just one connection, but also how to hook up if you have multiples and show you some of the hoses that we use and why they work for us. So to hook up, the first thing I'm going to do is your hose will often be stored uh, in the bumper of your camper. And I'm going to get a 15 foot hose that we have, show you how it connects, and then set it up as if this was our only connection. RV makers often assume that with a travel trailer, you're going to keep your black hose in the bumper. And in our rear bumper, we actually do have a black hose. You can see it just fits. And this hose, will actually extend to 15 feet. It's really handy that way in that it actually expands. But you can see I don't have any of the connections on there. Uh, in order for this to fit into the bumper, I take those off. So we're gonna walk back to where we make the connections. I'll show you the things that you need to connect onto here, uh, and then we can get hooked up. People sometimes wonder where you're supposed to keep these dirty parts that for uh, black tank and gray tank connections. I actually just took a white utility bucket, lined it with a garbage bag, and then if this ever does start to get kind of nasty, it's easy to replace. Now, the RhinoFlex hose that we have has parts that actually remove. They don't make it this way anymore. These are permanently on there, so you'll have to see if that'll still fit in your bumper. But there's a direction on there that simply turns on and then locks in place. And that's the side that's gonna to connect to your camper. So I'm gonna open up, there's a cap on here, and you can clearly see on the side of the camper, it's marked gray tank and black tank. There are little locking things on here, four of them, and pins on the other side. You turn that just a little turn clockwise to lock in place. Now on the other side, we need something to connect to the sewer hookup. You're going to be looking for what looks like just a PVC hole in the ground, right? And I'm going to connect the Rhino Flex, the other end of my hose. Again, you may not have to do that step if yours comes equipped that way. And you need a part that will actually go into the ground. That just locks in like that to give you a 90 degree angle. Now, in some cases, you'll be able to turn that in to lock it into place. Other places, it's just uh, solid on the sides and you may wanna think about putting something over this to keep it in place. Also note that this 90 degree is somewhat translucent, that helps you to be able to monitor the fluids as they go through so that between the sound of it and the sight of it, you can tell when you're done dumping. At this point, you have a hose connected and you can see that it comes down. But once this gets heavy with fluid, your hose is gonna to tend to go down and then sometimes it has to come up in order to fill. In order to really facilitate gravity doing its job, you need a stand for the hose. So let me grab one.
This is just a flexible stand. The hose support that when you put in place will now make sure that you have the right angle for the fluids to drain so gravity can do its job. You're all connected and that's assuming you just have one connection like most campers. When it comes time to dump, there's a lever on the side here and you simply pull for the black tank first so that you're emptying the black tank and then close that off again. Then you'll come over and empty the gray tank. Now why do you empty the black first and then the gray? That allows you to uh, have the, the dirtiest of the fluids go through first and then the gray water is going to be your soapy water from doing dishes or taking a shower. That'll help clean the hose out so that it's not so nasty when you put it away. So when your tanks get full, clean the black tank first and then the gray tank. Make sure you have a hose all set up and a hose support. When it's done, you just take this in reverse, put away your parts, the hose in the bumper, the parts in a bucket if you choose to go that route. Uh, if you don't, you can put them into a bin, maybe in the bed of your truck, uh, keep the smell out of the camper. And that's it for uh, connecting a single uh, black water hose. Next up, I'm gonna take a break and then we're gonna show you how to connect it if you happen to have two gray tanks like our Grand Design Transcend does. Our Grand Design Transcend has two gray water tanks. One in the front for the bathroom, where also the black tank is, and one to the rear of the camper for the kitchen, because our kitchen is placed in the back. And so hooking up for your sewer hoses becomes a little bit more complicated. Just a few extra parts. One of the main parts is a Y. What I have here is a, a Y. You can get just about any brand, but again, it helps if you find one that rotates so that you can adjust it and get it into position. And just like with a single hookup, I'm going to show you the parts that you need. But for this, you'll need a, need a minimum of two sewer hoses plus the Y. And again, you need something to connect to the Y, the 90 degree angle that goes into the sewer dump. So you might ask, where do you put hoses if you have need more than one and they don't fit into your bumper? So this is just a gray plastic bin where I keep a spare hose in case I ever need it. And what I have here is from Thetford. It's a Titan hose, very robust and heavy duty. Uh, compared to the RhinoFlex, one thing you'll note though is that it doesn't stay compressed as well, where the RhinoFlex uh, collapses and stays that way. This one is it's a little bit more robust. And underneath the camper, I've installed two Valterra uh, hose carriers. You can see on the website, we actually did a project step-by-step -step instructions for how to install those. And what that allows me to do is bring along two additional 10-foot hoses. So that gives me a total of three 10-foot sewer hoses to hook up, and that's what we're going to use to connect today. Now, you never know if your sewer hookup is going to be at the front, the middle, or the rear of your campsite. So you kind of need to be prepared to be adaptable. That's why I like having 10-foot sections of hose. So I actually have three sections of the Thetford Titan, and then in the bumper, I have that 15-foot RhinoFlex just in case as a spare. Hooking up is pretty much the same though. We're going to connect here on our sewer hookup. And that just slides on there. I do like the Thetford Titan, how it provides a nice hand grip to be able to do that turning. And you'll note when I'm dealing with these sewer hoses, I do have on rubber gloves. I also have hand sanitizer handy because sometimes a little bit will spill or leak and you want to be prepared to, to protect yourself. This is black water coming out of here. So we've got it connected here to the camper. The other end, you can see there are 
four pegs on there. And that is going to connect into the Y. So I've got one side connected. So I mentioned our Grand Design camper has a second gray tank, and this is directly for the kitchen. So all of our dishwashing uh, water goes into here. Connects just like the first one. Again, locks into place, which is nice. And I have supports here. We're gonna put these in place by the time we're done, to make sure that hose is supported. With this system, you can actually connect two hoses together. That allows me not to have just a 10 foot hose, but up to 20. We'll connect that one into the Y. And then our Y connects to this 90 degree connector. Like I mentioned uh, on the other one, you see how it's somewhat translucent so that we'll be able to see fluid going through there. And that just fits right into the ground. Now we won't want to have things like this hose curving around the wrong direction because water just can't flow that way. So what we need to do is try and collapse the hose up as much as we can. Or if we need to, we can kind of swing wide so that there's a straight flow of water. And these hoses are a little bit hard to deal with. I'll give credit to the other brand for being a little bit more flexible. But you can see now when that comes out, it's going to have a, a smooth flow. We wanna try and have gravity taking it from the hookup to the hole in the ground. We've got hoses connecting to both of our hookups now coming into a Y and being ready to dump. Again, when it comes time to dump those, let's say you have your kitchen, you've been doing a lot of cooking and dishes, there's a handle here, and all I need to do now to dump, slide that handle over, you could hear a little flow of water. If there was a lot of water in that tank, it would keep sort of bouncing and, and you'd hear it. And when it's done, Simply slide that closed and you've dumped your tanks. At the end of your camping trip, again, you want to make sure to clean those hoses out by emptying black water first, then gray. Put all your hoses back in storage. Remember the gloves. When you're done, you'll often find that there's no place handy to wash your hands. So bring hand sanitizer and that'll help uh, to keep this process is as sanitary as it can be. So uh, that's how to connect a sewer hose for either one sewer connection or two on a camper. I hope this was helpful. Check out uh, detailed steps on our blog site, traveltrailsale.com. And if you like this video, please consider liking it and, and uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you have questions, please reach us at traveltrailsale.com. Thank you.